Hey everybody, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are ya? Welcome to the channel. This is called Deep Thoughts with Dana, Tarot for Thinking Minds. Why is it Tarot for Thinking Minds? Well, because we all need to understand that the reading I'm about to do for you is a general reading, right? Just like everybody has a completely different astrological chart, even if somebody's born on your same birthday, you guys will have a completely different astrological chart. Because everybody has a different astrological chart and because the tarot is rooted, created out of astrology, that means that everybody's going to have a completely different reading as well. Your own personal cards are different than anybody else's cards. And even though you may see yourself somewhere in this reading, you may identify with it, you may see these events unfolding in your life, chances are your reading, when you have your own real cards read, will be a very, very different story could still be the same theme, but it's different because it's about you, about your life, about your situation, your circumstances, and the people in your life. It's very different than the general tarot card readings. Um, I do readings all day, every day. I'm a professional tarot card reader, and I cannot tell you how many people come to me um, binge watching general tarot card readings and expect their readings to reflect what the general readings are saying and they do not. Sometimes they're better, sometimes they're worse. Sometimes people leave all happy and sometimes people leave very, very disappointed that their reading, their own personal reading is not like the readings that are being put out on general tarot card readings on YouTube. So that being said, the reading that we're about to do for your sign, you must, must, must take with a grain of salt. And please do not make life altering decisions based on my general tarot card readings or anyone else's. If you'd like your own cards read, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If it's not me, definitely reach out to somebody and have your cards read if you need more clarification, wisdom, guidance, or understanding about what's about about what is going to unfold in this reading for you in a few minutes, okay? All right, y'all stand by. Here comes your reading. All right, Pisces, here's your reading. Here we go. All right, Pisces. So the star, right? We open up with the star. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, your spiritual path to the strength card. N pulling on um, some strength, being strong, being strong. The two of cups in reverse because there was some kind of breakup, some kind of ending of a significant relationship in your life. There was an imbalance and people just couldn't see eye to eye and it ended. And here you are being all beautiful with the star, right? Having hope and faith and purpose in your life, trucking right along, strong as hell, right? Strong as hell, um, made your way through this imbalance and this breakup, right? But guess what? Because there is a message coming into you from somebody, Two of Wands in reverse says, now there's fear of the unknown. Little, 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 you know, you got your path, you had your path, you were, you were on the straight and narrow, and now this message comes in and it throws you off kilter, right? You're just not sure where the, where the future would lead in this situation. Temperance comes in and talks about just chilling on it for a minute, right? Not doing anything with it, just chilling on it for a second to the queen of swords to give yourself enough time to formulate a logical reasonable thought pattern about this this is also saying that you're stern but flexible with this message that comes in you're going to hear them out but you're not necessarily going to give them any kind of of information at this particular point yep to the seven of pentacles because you're reflecting and assessing on if reinvesting in this situation is going to be worth it to you or not and that's exactly what's going on right there two of swords in reverse this is information overload to the two of wands in reverse again 
fear of the unknown. Information overload and you're like, ah, I knew where I was going. I knew what I was doing. I knew where everything was supposed to be. And now, now I get this message from somebody from my past, love or not, and I'm not real sure. I'm not clear anymore. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Fear of the future, fear of the unknown, because somebody was left out in the cold last time around with the Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, wanting to give and receive now. Who? This Emperor. This emperor is the, is the devil energy that we see later on in this reading. If you missed the shuffling and all of that stuff, the devil energy shows up here, okay? Um, the emperor is somebody that is presenting themselves to you in a very integritous, regal kind of manner. And they're, they're, they're ready to talk truth. They're ready to throw down um, honesty and truth um they have they have metamorphosized into somebody with integrity the four of swords in reverse there's lack of progress right a, a, just a lack of progress um mentally restless thinking about this don't know don't know don't know don't know why? Because of the Ace of Swords. Somebody speaks their truth with the star card right there. Somebody speaks their truth and they want renewal in the situation. Tell me about the star card right here, Spirit. Tell me about the star. Somebody speaks their truth and they want renewal in the situation. Yep, look, they want to correct an injustice um they want to create abundance with you empress to the emperor and the queen of cups so they come in talking about what happened between the two of you in the past um they want you to be their empress the emperor wants you to be the empress and the queen of cups talks about feelings right so all of these feelings um that's what that's what's going on here this emperor is dumping out all of these feelings on you in the center of your reading though you remember a lack of success from the last go round though right lack of success the last go round when you thought perhaps this person could have been your king of pentacles perhaps this person could have been husband material mate material live together material right now they want a new beginning and a new journey strength comes in again and talks about about using your strength not needing strength having the strength you maybe at some point in the past wouldn't have had the strength to deal with this person but now you do have the strength to deal with this person because you're good with that first star card up there right you're you're good the lovers that's what's on the table that's what's on the table putting all these feelings dumping all these feels all over the place um and um getting into a relationship again is what's on the table the knight of pentacles it's been slow moving though it's been a long time um since you have considered this person this emperor right why because of the toxicity from the past um whoever did what but i feel like this toxicity is coming at pisces and not from pisces okay but this devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth it's toxic to you right to the five of cups and all you can remember is loss regret disappointment and despair from your last go round with this person and that's what you're thinking about in the center of this reading your lack of success how long it's been since whenever and now you want a new beginning and a new journey right after all the bullshit that went on between us uh, where are you even at right are you even are you even in colorado where are you at right <laughs> right okay so the king of pentacles we explained why you saw them as the king of pentacles to the lovers in reverse right there was a misalignment of values between you and there was a breakup now the six of wands comes in and this king of pentacles wants victory progress and success 
Strength again, right? We've had strength three times in this reading so far. Wow. Strength. Not needing strength, being strong, okay? To the Nine of Pentacles. You have brought this to a culmination in the past. That's why, again, with the Star card, right? And strength. With the Star card and strength up here, you, um, you've already, you've completed this. The Nine of Pentacles, you've completed it. You're good. You're on your own. You're doing good. You've brought this whole thing to a culmination, right? But... When this King of Pentacles comes around, your feels start flowing all over the place with the Ace of Cups. Because this King of Pentacles wants a new beginning in love. And it stirs up your emotions, Pisces. Two of Swords in reverse. Information overload to the Nine of Swords in reverse. An intense amount of despair to the Chariot. You have left this situation behind already. The devil in reverse. You have released your limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs being perhaps that you guys would ever get back together again, that this was salvageable, that this person would change. You have released those beliefs, right? And you're also being asked to, you're being asked to release those beliefs by this emperor, king of pentacles person here. You're being asked, it's like Pisces, let, let's, let's leave it in the past. Let's have a brand new slate. It's been a long time since we have been together. It's been a long time since we've spoken. Let's leave it all in the past and start fresh. That's what this is about. They want you to take action with the chariot to release your limiting beliefs and move into a, a lover's situation. High Priestess, Pisces herself, right there, himself, the High Priestess. This is um, Spirit Incarnate. This is Pisces, doing your Pisces thing, feeling your way through this situation, taking a knee for a minute, using your subconscious mind and your intuition to help guide you through this decision-making process. Why? Well, because this person is coming at you with the Knight of Swords and Death in Reverse, saying, I have had a personal transformation. I have had a personal transformation. My eyes are set on you. My goal is on you. You don't step in front of the Knight of Swords because they'll smooth run you right over, right? This person is obsessed. They're focused and they're coming in with absolute intentions of winning. The emperor does not enter into anything without a plan on how to win. Okay. They've had a personal transformation and they are rushing in to tell you this with the knight of swords, the king of wands in reverse. I am no longer an asshole. I am no longer egocentric and self-centered. I am no longer a player. I am no longer who I used to be. Pisces, please believe me. Let's give this another go. And the Nine of Wands comes in and has Pisces going, Ugh. persistence, resilience. I'm plum worn out. I'm worn out. By you, by this situation, I'm doing good. I'm on my own. I'm doing great. And now you come at me with all of this bullshit. That's what the Nine of Wands is about right there, right? I mean, look at the guy in this card. Look at him. Look at him. He is worn out. And he doesn't have it in him to go any further. And that's how you feel. To the Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations, delays, no inspired action being taken up to this point. Nobody's done shit. You've gone about your own business. You haven't heard from this person in forever. And boom, here they are. To the Hermit, going inside, doing some soul searching and some introspection. Um, really, really putting the wood to the fire, right? Holding up that lamp right there, trying to... Uh, Trying to ask spirit to guide your path. What should I do in this situation? What should I do? The hangman in reverse. Resistance. Indecision. Stalling maybe. To major arcana judgment. Saying you have to make a decision. You have no choice. You must make a decision. And the decision that you make here is going to change the trajectory of your path for the rest of your life. One way or another. Right? Step off the curb in front of a bus 
that changes the trajectory of your path, right? That decision to step off the curve done changed your whole course of everything. That's what this card is saying, right? Be very careful about the decision that you make in this situation because if you go to the left, you'll never experience the right. If you go to the right, you'll never experience the left. So five of wands, very conflicted, very conflicted over the whole thing. To the queen of cups, right? But you're in your feels, Pisces, the card of Pisces. You're in your feels, in your feels, in your feels about the whole thing. To the eight of pentacles in reverse. This is lacking ambition, lacking focus, um, disengaging. Tell me about this eight of cups right here. Oh, it's lacking focus. It's lacking focus because it's followed by the king of swords in reverse, right? Um, this is this is the biggest, fattest, no thank you ever, right? King of Swords is is angry, but it's also about being impulsive, right? You don't want to be impulsive in your decision making process, like we said at the very beginning, right? Just being tempered about the whole thing. Page of Cups message of creation coming into you to the magician in reverse untapped talents pisces we didn't explore this as thoroughly as we could have or should have in the past we haven't looked at all of the aspects here let's talk about this i think we can pull this out of the shitter and make something out of it that's untapped talents the sun this brings you a lot of happiness. It truly does. As distraught as you are over this, you see the potential for happiness with this person. To the page of wands, uh, messages of inspired, passionate beginnings. They're little. It's just a page. It's just little. It's probably initial messages, right? It's just little. I think this is you possibly returning communication. Little to the nine of pentacles, self-sufficiency, independence. And I think that's what you're saying to this person. You know, I'm, I, I just really don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Four of cups, contemplating and reevaluating what a dick this person was before with the king of wands in reverse. But now they want a turning point in everything. They want a turning point. To the Ten of Cups in reverse, the misalignment of values, the breakup that y'all had. To the Five of Wands, you're in a state of conflict, conflict, conflict. I want to point out the second time this is the Five of Wands in this reading. The Five of Wands also talks about competition, okay? So I'll throw that out there. To the Nine of Swords in reverse, what you thought was hopeless. To the Six of Pentacles in reverse, ain't no sharing, giving, talking, being at all. To the Six of Swords in reverse, lots of water under the bridge, lots and lots of water under the bridge, but boom, the Page of Pentacles. Now they want to manifest a new beginning. To the Tower in reverse, telling you how they've had a personal transformation and they are no longer the asshole that they used to be. To the Ace of Wands, they want an inspired, passionate new beginning with you, Pisces. To the Three of Pentacles, they want teamwork and collaboration. Isolation, loneliness, withdrawal, to the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck like Chuck, to the Princess of Pentacles in reverse, nothing happening between the two of you, and then pow, the Princess of Swords, a message comes in. Look, to the Nine of Wands, it's kind of the same sequence of cards that was over here, right? Sequence of cards. Um, Nine of Wands, right? You're wore out. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Eight of Wands, communication, right? Communication goes on between you about the stifled creativity, about what happened, possibly about a third party situation. To the Seven of Swords in reverse, uh, you're having a hard time breaking free of the mental challenges of deception. To the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, because this deception, possibly with a third party situation, doesn't have to be, but this deception um, ruined the foundation of the relationship, right? But now there's justice being brought to the situation. There is justice being had here. Truth, 
honesty, this person, y'all are speaking your truth to each other for real. The chariot in reverse. Um, there's some opposition, right? To the Knight of Cups. Um, to this person sharing their feelings with you. There you have some opposition to, to this person coming in and pouring their guts all over the place, right? To the King of Swords. They're speaking their truth and they mean it. They mean it. They're speaking their truth and they mean it. To the Two of Pentacles, they want to prioritize. To the Queen of Wands in reverse. What this is saying right here with this Queen of Wands in reverse is, Pisces, I know I didn't give you what you needed last time around. I know that your passions for me, being fire energy, the Queen of Wands, I know your passions for me dwindled and blew away like ashes in the wind because I was an idiot. But I have changed. Six of Cups. I want to reunite and reconcile. The Five of Swords. Conflict, right? Win at all costs, betrayal to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I used to hold title, but I don't anymore. And that's what y'all are going to talk about. All the shit that happened between the two of you. To the Four of Swords in reverse. This is healing. This is um, mentally restless. To the Ten of Swords in reverse talking to us about resur either resurrecting something from the dead or the anticipation of an inevitable ending should you engage in this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is the outcome for Pisces if they engage? What's the outcome? Three of Wands, preparation, foresight, to the Wheel of Fortune for a turning point in the relationship, right? To the Eight of Swords, trying to wrap your mind around, trying to prepare, trying to have some foresight because this is a huge decision. Two of Pentacles, trying to balance, trying to prioritize. To the High Priestess, doing the Pisces thing in your subconscious mind, in your intuition, trying to feel your way through this situation. The magician, right? Manifesting the nine of cups, wishes fulfilled. So, yeah, like I said earlier, right? This stirs your feelings. It does. It stirs your feelings because even though all of this bullshit happened between the two of you and you parted ways, you have kept, you have held feelings inside of you for this person ever since in the hermit, right? Some soul searching and some introspection about what it is. My cards are just falling everywhere. I'm sorry. About what it is that uh, you're going to do with yourself here. The Ten of Pentacles, right? This is an opportunity for foundation, structure. It's an opportunity to get the sense of security that you have with this person back. The Ten of Wands, burden struggle but there's accomplishment there's accomplishment at the end of all of this struggle that you have been through the struggle of the relationship the struggle of letting go the struggle of getting on your own and being okay and now you're back to the struggle right page of pentacles in reverse this is either not manifesting or the short-term focus short-term focus to temperance in reverse short-term focus to get some um, realignment happening here, to correct an imbalance and get some realignment happening. To the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, to the Ace of Pentacles, right? But you... Okay, this is about disregard for consequences, right? Disregard for consequences, Queen of Swords in reverse, all of the anger and the bullshit between us, Ace of Pentacles, let's manifest a brand new beginning with one another. Let's do that. Let's manifest. Knight of Wands, let's take some inspired action. And I think that's you, Pisces, taking some inspired action because you see the Ten of Cups potential in this relationship. King of Wands in reverse, right? You're going to take this guy, this person, at face value um, because they say that they're not a dick anymore. To the fool, brand new beginning and a brand new journey. 
brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Oh my gosh, look, the Ace of Swords, because of some truth, you have some absolute mental clarity and the world card comes in and says uh, that you are, it's a brand new cycle. It's a brand new cycle for you, Pisces, with this person. The Six of Swords, this is a transition from choppy waters into calm waters where you used to not be a part of the picture, but now you will be. The Knight of Cups, the sharing of feelings, the Three of Cups, getting together, reuniting, talking about it to the Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. There you go, Pisces. Uh-oh, Pisces, the video got cut off before I could say the final words. There you go, Pisces, that is your reading. If you would like to join me on the other side for the after party, there is an additional reading to this reading. And to tell you the truth, it is freaking amazing. It is an amazing, very, very deep reading. Um, and I don't say that lightly. It's an amazing reading. So if you want to follow me over, click on the link in the box below and uh, let's go. Let's go read some more about this. Okay. Namaste, Pisces.